Ah, so you want to get into smelting some stuff. Well, when you do, you need to get you some way to melt it. You can build you a forge. Well, technically, I think it's a furnace. A furnace is in the forge, which is part of a foundry. Uh, you have a furnace to fuel your foundry. I don't know. Terminology. Mild technology. Well, I had a bunch of people that uh, asked me about this over on the blacksmithing and home foundry groups. And this is a uh, electric furnace. Now, I'm going to assume that this comes from overseas and repackaged, you know, the U.S. seller. I ordered another one of these. got about a month's use out of it and then I blew up a, a crucible inside of it which screwed it all up but it was packaged just like this you can see the labels and stuff on it 110 volt uh, 3 kilogram and I don't know how they measure measure the kilograms because I've I broke my first crucible. No, I had reordered a crucible to have to do silver off Amazon, and I just ordered like a uh, three kilogram one. And it was smaller than the one that came with this. Close. And this kit was like $252. And that includes the furnace, a uh, pair of pliers, the cable, and the this awesome packing material. But I went through and when I shattered that first crucible in my other one, it actually uh, shoot, it actually was pretty much full and went all down the inside of it, filled the inside. It went all down the front of it. Melted the display on the controller. And these people speak pretty much next to zero English. I had asked them, I took mine apart and had asked them for the uh, parts breakdown. They were trying to talk warranty, you know, warranty, warranty. As well as it's not warranty, I'm the one that actually broke it. And I can't stand people that do that. You know, if you abuse something, don't try to follow warranty on it, man up to it, and buy a new one. It already kicks on. When you plug it in. But when I got the, when my crucible exploded, that's the thermocoupler down there. It actually filled all that with uh, molten aluminum bronze is what I was melting. And actually 
filled it up and it it didn't come out the bottom but it was enough to melt the thermostat and it all came down the front and melted the display the display actually worked but how you work these on this one you just scroll through here I actually want to do some aluminum Then you hit the little button. That sets the temperature to 725. Uh, obviously all in Celsius. So what I'm going to roll with. And see how it does. Now. I'm not going to open my other crucible. I'm going to use this one that I've got. And like I say, it slops around in there a little bit compared to the one that actually came with it. So I don't know how they're measuring, you know, how they're measuring capacity on that. These are some aluminum ingots that I have poured in the past. I'm actually going to melt them down. I got some stuff I want to try to cast tonight. Like I say, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video of how this thing looks and how it comes. SY Electric Melting Furnace, Italy. This is bent right here, and it was actually, it's warped, I'm assuming they've over-tightened these, and it's the exact same way on the one that I got a month or so ago. Um, these are a U.S. Uh, shipper, but like I say, they, they are not English speaking if you go to try to get some technical uh, assistance on it, but they are, they're quick. Let's see, I ordered this uh, either Thursday or Friday night, Thursday I think. Thursday I ordered it, and today's Monday, and it's here. I believe they come out of New Jersey. Like I say, well packaged, and the last two have made it here with no problem. Um, part of the... I've got another piece here. I was trying to sh uh, show... I've got a graphite block somewhere for the crucible that blew up. And I was looking for it. I've got a, I'm shifting stuff around. Can't currently find anything. But the walls of the uh, original crucible got thin. Like real thin. They say you can only get 30 burns out of the crucible that comes with it. This thing's going to smoke a lot on your first burn. This will actually all turn black. Hello, Sammy. What is it, buddy? I keep a log book of everything that I melt. And then I stamp everything. dogs out here playing around but I stamp it all with numbers that correspond with whatever this is 16 this is obviously aluminum um, this came from computer heat sinks but I got out of the old crucible when it started to get thin it looks like about 1920 21 or 21 melts on it And I was actually forcing it down. Let's see how it kind of melted the display. And I tell you, the thing's identical. 
But you got the, just for curious, you got the PID, obviously the power switch, solid state relay, and input. Thermal coupler went down here, which is what these two wires went to. And then these two wires went to the junction block for the coil that went up in it. I've actually got all these parts here. It's a double layer chamber full of molten metal where I got it all in there. And in this chamber, fits down inside, and you can see where it's all leaked down in there and melted it. Um, this thing does get hot to the touch. I mean, you do, you definitely don't want to touch it and don't want to put anything next to it. But when I got it pulled apart, by the time I bought everything, it was $40 less than buying a new one. And the new one came with uh, a new crucible and tongs. But I chalked the first one up to a learning experience. Don't pour stuff into the crucible because it may or may not break on you. This... Hey, I, I plan on taking an hour to heat up, you know, to get up to a good pouring temp. Um, obviously more for copper. And, and this will do. I've done copper. I did brass. I did aluminum bronze. A couple other little things on it. But you got to max it out when you're doing, you know, the coppers. I don't think I'm going to do any more copper in this one. I'm probably going to stick with doing brass and the aluminum. But it... Uh, and then do the copper in my propane furnace. But like I said, I, got, I had a lot of questions on this. You know, where it was. And I don't have the length. I got it off of eBay. It was, and you can search 3kg electric furnace. It'll pop up. It was like $254 and that was shipped to my door. Like I said, I'm really happy with what it is, you know, as, and how it works. But that was just a quick overview of this and what it looked like, uh, you know, coming out. Of the box and there's really no setup to it plug it in and you're ready to go so now i just got this in here heated we'll just wait till it gets up and i'm gonna do a little little pouring tonight so you guys have a good night bye